good morning, almost afternoon. I apologize. I'm running a little behind. Uh, got in late yesterday and it wasn't really firm on what the Lord would have me say this morning. And that's really important to me that it is a fresh and it is a uh, rich word according to what he would have me share. But I'm ready now to uh, let you hear what he shared with me and what he's ministered to me this morning that has been such a keeper. I, I ran across a blog um, called IBelieve.com and the writer is Chara Donahue and she was right where I was so I wanted to share that with you first. She writes, noise is constantly slipping through the cracks of the quiet I long for. When I seek to escape into muted moments, the chaotic racket lurks ominously in the shadows, increasing the hunger I hear growling within me. I thrust myself into the delusive peace of TV binges and smartphone apps to no avail. Even in silence, I hear it. To-do lists, loom, notifications whip out onto screens with a snap and the world tells me, do more, do more, give more, 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 more. The loudness of expectation from a world begging for me to listen to the seductive songs of leisure and mediocrity has threatened to leave my nerves strung out and dry. I feel alone, withering away on the scorching asphalt of the demands of everyone and everything except the one I long to serve most, my Lord, my God. It is only in his presence that I can hear my soul delicately whisper, shh, I am listening for the words of my master. The only antidote I have found to, bar to the barrage of solicitation and thirst for more is the familiar cushion of truth found in the scriptures. Now, how true that is. I found myself in that place even this weekend as I escaped from Dayton to um, go visit the girls and just do some encouraging and some mommy and mama, mama stuff from that end. And even though I stayed in a place of prayer and meditation and those kind of things, there was definitely a challenge because we're always thinking. You know, I'm thinking about getting back down here and coaching Chuck with uh, this health journey that we're on. I'm worried about being there. You know, I'm dealing there. I'm thinking about my mom and thinking about my family. And, you know, I have people traveling and I was, I was everywhere. But I had to, uh, you know, commit and get into that quiet place. And, and I still personally don't feel like I did it best, but I'm glad that I've learned to do it, and I'm glad that it is restorative to me. The scripture that uh, the young lady first shares with us is Luke 10, 38 through 42, a very familiar story, and it reads, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said but Martha was distracted by all the preparation that had to be made she came to him and asked Lord don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself tell her to help me Martha Martha the Lord said you are worried and upset about many things but few things are needed or indeed only one Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. I know as women, we know that oh so well, but it's significant and even more for us today of the choices and the positions that each person found themselves in. Martha doing the work, which was good, but Mary at the feet of Jesus, which was God. And that's where we need to be and we need to find that place and that space and make it a priority and the first thing. It is one of the greatest representations of tithe, giving it to him first. And so that's my prayer for each one of us. I'm going to, there are a couple more scriptures attached to that. And so for the next couple of days, unless he says different, 
I'm going to continue to share her thoughts and pray that you will find comfort and direction, provoking something that shifts you to a change or calls you to the better so that we will purpose to stay at the feet of him. It's really not optional. If you want the best, if you want your day to go, you need to start with him. And then the other thing about that is it said that she was at his feet listening to what he was saying. Sometimes we need to just shut it down and listen and get quiet. And I do that quite often. Never quite turns out the way that I think that it should or that it will. And I think one of the things that I can tell you from those experiences is it doesn't necessarily end up where he answers my questions. He just puts me in a different perspective. And then I walk it out knowing that he's leading me. So I pray that that was encouraging to you today. I pray for you today that he would help you, me, we, us. We need the help. We need to learn the discipline. And Father, we need the desire. That's the one thing that I will pray for us. In closing, Father, give us the desire of your heart for us. Give us the desire to sit at your feet and to listen. Give us the desire, Lord, as long as we have air in our lungs, we can breathe, we can move about, we can choose. We pray, Father, that our hearts would choose you. And in the places where we are being tripped up and in the places that we are being challenged and in the places where we are being hijacked, God, and in the places that we are holding on to, Lord, I pray that you would challenge us, that you would provoke us, that you would cause us to do what is most pleasing to you, and that is to begin our day at your feet. Most times with our mouth closed, and our ears open and our hearts ready to receive. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for life today. I pray for my sisters, your daughters. I pray that you would bless them and keep them today. And Father, cause them to learn to come to that secret place of the Most High God where they can dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. Father, we love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a quiet spirit today, I pray. Be safe. And if God says the same, I will see you in the morning. And for those of you who are Facebookers, we will be live uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. And for those that are not, I will upload it as soon as we finish and you'll find us on the YouTube. God bless. Thank you.